Hello. Mm -hmm. Right now I have breakfast. After that, have a little team talk, talk about strategies. Go find fish. Welcome to Portugal! We've blessed you with a beautiful day. It's been a few days in the water already, so we're having a rest today. They are pretty, pretty tricky going. The water is very cold, ranging between sort of 15, 18, down to 13 degrees. And yeah, lots of small fish around, nothing quite like back home. But yeah, there's quite a lot of, lot of fish there, um, mainly sort of blacktail. Uh, you get another sort of stumpy looking fish called gilted. There's bass. There's uh, the Congo eels if you can find them. And then you have a few other different types of bits and pieces. But yeah, lovely weather at the moment. It's actually pretty hot. Definitely need the sun cream. Yeah, great to be here. Beautiful setting. Nice to be somewhere new for a change. Looking at something different. And yeah, good bunch of guys. Really looking forward to it. Hopefully we get some good fish for the competition. Monday today before the comp. And, uh, yeah, a lot of teams are going up, and no one's looking too too enthusiastic because there's about four meter swells out there. And uh, you know, any game plans have gone out the window because of the visibility and the amount of surge. So we're basically going to go see if any other spots we found still hold fish, and if not, we, we're going to be uh, making some new plans today. Hitting the shallows to see if the fish are holding up there in the high tide, or hitting the deep in the low tide to see if they are hiding away in the caves. Mainly we've been seeing a lot of uh, Waya Sargos, which is the same as the black tails in South Africa. And uh, you get a few odd mullet and uh, strippies, or carantine. And from what we've heard from the locals is these competitions are based on if you can get your mullet and your carantine, then you're doing well. We allow 12, 12 per species and bottom limit 500. But um, with the swell and the visibility gone down to about zero inshore, that's going to be it's going to be a difficult difficult task. We were when we originally arrived here, with the weather being a bit better, we were looking a bit deeper in the 8, 15 to 18 meter line. And um, at the moment, there's no vis there, so we have to go a bit shallower today. A lot of the fish are in the open here, so it's not that we're going to be in the caves with the torches, especially with the bottom surge. But um, you know, it's open water hunting and quick shooting because the fish only give you about a five to ten second window period if you're lucky. Any big stories to tell? Huh? Rod, right, you mustn't forget to put on some sunscreen, eh? I put on, bro. I can yes, see you. Yes, the sun clapped you properly. I can see you got clapped as well. You properly, bro. Check it out, me too. Huh? John looks a bit grey hey, today. Hey, lots of fish, boy. Lots of fish. Serious? Still swimming in the sea, though. <laughs> No, yeah. we, we warmed up in about 30 and then we went, you know, warmed up in the shallows in 30 and then went down to the deep stuff after that.
I think the fish don't know what's been unleashed on them. You hear that drum beat? Oh, ho, ho, ho. Wait, tomorrow is day one of the comp. Looking forward to it. Now, I think it's going to be a tough comp. Uh, we need to pump it today. John, you want to give us a little breakdown of the bad of the event, huh? Very, very good conditions, <laughs> especially if you were in the earthworm. Pretty hard, eh? Hopefully, day two we'll get clear water and we'll shoot some fish. Pretty shallow diving, rough diving. So, it's gonna be quite challenging for the guys, huh? Yeah, well, we managed yesterday just one fish. Um, even so, with all that, we, we managed, we were sitting in 11th position. And uh, there's a couple of teams below us, the top team, Croatia, and didn't even get a fish. So, yeah, it shows just how tough the conditions were. Top guys, Spain, Spain are in the lead. They have about 240 points, followed by Portugal, and then the rest. Um, so yeah, uh, most of the teams above us only got one fish. So it was a very tough day, and uh, I think today we we definitely gonna do better.
silver medal goes to David Primo. And we're off to the World Championships next year. Thanks very much, everybody.